Previously on Drake Paragon. Firewood with Mojo. This just showed up in the tent one day. She <laughs> called it a bone marrow. That's a call, an all-nighter. The fishing fleet out of Gloucester. Going out to get some fish. Wood with a lot of mojo. Oh my god, that's so exciting! <laughs> when I installed this stove? Yes. How much fun that was? Oh, yes. <laughs> One of the wood lockers. It's so much cheaper than burning diesel or propane. It's fun. This is great. This is exactly what I need. You know, one thing about being out here in the Anchorage is that there are a lot of birds. <laughs> I have no idea what the racket's all about. Uh, you got like the cormorant birds in the water and then you got the, not seagulls, but these little white birds flying all around above. And they're making quite a racket. They're probably waiting for the next big fishing boat to go out. Unfortunately, they love the bowsprit. Are they up there? There are two of them up there. Three of them. What are you doing? I'm stirring your pot. That's my... <laughs> I am making Monique's favorite meal. Miso mackerel. Which is just canned mackerel with soy sauce, sherry, miso sugar, and fresh ginger. And usually we add scallions, but today don't we don't have any. So we just had some frozen peas. What are you doing? Didn't I tell you not to hang out on my boat? Are you, you're gonna poop, aren't you? I know you're gonna poop. Yeah, you're not afraid of me. Who are you guys? And what makes you think you can just hang out on my bowsprit? Here we are in Gloucester Harbor. It's a beautiful morning. Wow. That's too cute. So, you can't move in. Yeah. We're gonna come out to find like 15 of them in the dinghy, chilling out. <laughs> they really like the bowsprit, huh? They're cute and beautiful and everything, but I hate to clean up their people. So what's next? I don't know. See, this is the problem is a lot of it is in Danish. I actually think that 1231, 1231. is more magnified than the 1212 and the 1213. Really? It's this one little section like right there. In 1212 and 1213 are these vertical slices of the coastline. Okay, so then... 1231 is actually a, a zoom-in, blow-up magnification 
but it doesn't show everything that 1212 and 1213 does right. probably by by a lot a lot of coastline I wonder why they have the zoom in on 1231 well, it might be a particularly difficult area to go around I mean look at it hmm. like look at all of that it might be a point of interest and they're like hey you should go here mm -hmm. But if you want to come out alive, you should use this chart. <laughs> 1212 and 1213 general. A small attractive fishing village of about 300 inhabitants. The harbor lies to the west of the promontory and there is a landing stage. Small store, water, and diesel. The surrounding area could offer some attractive cruising and an interesting inner lead route south to Quequeir Tarsuatisak. If someone speaks Nundic or whatever, they're probably just laughing oh, at us. Oh god. Um, so this is something to think about too. Take 35 days mm -hmm. and divide it by 5. Why? That's probably the most that we can go visit. The most number of places. We got it. So we land in Nook and we spend as much time as we want there and then we start working our way south and at a certain point we're going to realize oh, we're running out of time and then we just uh, go out and you know pick up the pace. We probably need to be at Prince Christian Sound and then mm -hmm. Like, we need to be waiting for a weather window. Mm -hmm. So, why don't we just get an overview chart and then just pick, like, five mm -hmm. or seven places. What do you think I've been doing? Well, you, I gave, just spent me, the half you gave me 27 charts that take us all the way down the coast. Like, we're just, we're not even going to be able to do that. What do you think we're doing right now? We're going through the book. We're looking at the different places. I'm reading the descriptions of the right. places so we so, can sort of figure out what's there. The we don't even have any idea, water. and I am like, bah! 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 I require that you put that in. <laughs> Been all day looking at charts of Greenland and Iceland and looking at the chart plotter and looking at charts on the website that we can buy. It's a little overwhelming. But it sure is beautiful to be here. There's the opening out to the Atlantic Ocean. Nice little harbor, and that is one of the fishing boats just coming in. Fishing boats are just coming in non stop, going in, coming out. A lot of them pull in at this fish processing plant right behind us. It's pretty cool being an anchor right here and being able to watch that happen all day long. I'm going to pick up my crew, Ina, in Boston in about a week. He's going to join us for six months. Uh, on June 1st, we're going to push off from here and sail to Nova Scotia. Thanks for coming. Hi. Look at those boats over there on the starboard bow. I think those are the biggest fishing boats in the harbor. They drag huge nets. The bridge deck looks like a control tower. Mm -hmm. Look at the lights on that guy. It's, I wonder why on now. It's bright daylight and those lights are still blinding. So those can go in like no water at all. Yeah, not much under the waterline, they're real fast. It's a 
amazing. That thing just backs up in there and the whole platform lifts up. So they must do that every time, right? I don't know. I haven't seen that one going out of the harbor. I've seen some that look like that going out of the harbor. I don't know if it's that one. Atlantic hat. She's super fast. I think we can find a place to pull up down here. Every new town we go to makes me wish we'd spent less time in the previous town. But that's good. It means they're all good, right? So what do you like about Gloucester? I haven't really seen as much of it as I'd like to, but it just it's very walkable, it's very cute, it's very quaint, beautiful. It's a commercial boating town. And it's got Rose Marine. What I'm trying to do now is set this thing up for hydraulic fluid to a hose that goes to this fitting on the pump. Okay. And the problem that I have is that the pump is mounted underneath a, like a floorboard, like the opening of the pump is there and the floorboard's right here. So okay. I can't do this. Right. I'm hoping I can go out of the pump to a hose that goes 90 sure. degrees and up to a bulkhead where I can mount this. All right. So you, you want this in the shape of a 90? Yeah, correct? yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And as, as low as possible. All right. Oh, how do you know that? It says 24. Wow. I'm just amazed. Why? When I come into places like this and I'm like, no one's ever going to be able to help me with this. This is like... Well, and then he knows like, what you want. He's like, okay, no problem. This is great. This is exactly what I need. Oh, man. I am so excited. <laughs> now we'll have this, uh, I think they call it a header tank, that I'll be able to put hydraulic fluid in for the hydraulic ram for the autopilot. Fill that up with hydraulic oil. It'll go down the tube. It'll come in here, come in through here, and then down into the hydraulic pump. And that way any air will just go up to here and whenever it needs fluid it'll just go down the hose whereas right now I just have a cap on it and uh, this is infinitely more better <laughs> thank you so much thanks for your help what Glossa where do I get one of those <laughs> Really? <laughs> Show me the way. <laughs> hey, every Wednesday we can get a large cheese for 725. Family combo. Lost your music. Wow. That's 
a beautiful sound, and you're not even playing a chord. Somebody was just in here playing it, and he was playing it really well. And but it only has four strings instead of six as right. a guitar, and there's a whole little ukulele section of books there. What? That's a, a G7 chord. Can you do that? Yeah. Wow.